Hi guys, welcome to my fourth video of my video series about the F450 and the NASA M Light flight controller. Check out the first three videos before you watch this video. Let's start. Here we have the NASA M flight controller. On this side we have the attachment for the cables to the receiver and on the other side we have the attachment to the motors. Be careful you have to put in the motors like on this image M1, M2, M3 and M4. We take the cables from the motors and put it into the NASM flight controller into M1, M2, M3 and M4. You can't put them in the wrong direction because there is a little plastic plastic thing and so it just goes in this right direction. Now we take the cables which go to the receiver and we put them onto the first five attaching points onto the other end of the NASA M flight controller. Then we take the LED and we put the attach the LED over the receiver cables. There is written LED on the top of the flight controller. And then we take the GPS unit and we power it into the flight controller where there is written um, expansion. Now we have to attach the power unit of the NAS and flight controller and we put the cable into the last um, place onto this side. We take the stickers which are in the kit and we are going to stick all the components onto the quad. The NASA and flight controller has to be right in the middle onto the CG and this arrow on the flight controller has to point forwards. Now we take the LED and stick it onto the quad. We take another sticker and stick it on the back of the LED. And then you can stick the LED wherever you want. I will stick it onto one arm because you see uh, the LED very good and you can plug in the USB cable also very easily. Next we are going to take the power unit and 
also to stick this onto the quad we are going to take the stickers and then we have to find some free space for this PMU I took this place, but you can do it wherever you want. Right, now we have all the components. We have the NASM flight controller in the middle. Then we have the power unit. We have the LED and the GPS unit. Then we have the motors attached and the cables to the receiver attached to the NASM flight controller. In one of the next parts we're going to attach the GPS onto the quad and we're going to finish it. Give me thumbs up or subscribe me to so stay tuned. Bye!